Hello everyone, my name is Antisil and today we'll be playing as Turkey again. I recently posted a beginner's guide for Turkey and I'll be continuing uh, what I did there as a setup. I will be starting uh, at the beginning and I'll just rush through whatever I did in the last video. If you need more explanations on why I'm doing that, uh, just uh, look back to the original video. In ch what's the purpose for today? Now, we are going to form the Empire of Turan with Turkey. That's the goal here. That means that I'll be following in the fascist path, uh, eventually team up with the Axis, but I'll try to stay out of their war with the Allies until, unless I really have to. I'll be f taking uh, Syria last, depending on who has it. I'll be taking Iraq first, then Iran, then team up against the Soviet Union, grab territories I need from there, and move on from that. That's basically the, the strategy. Have to be a little flexible uh, because uh, this territory here can flip to a lot of different uh, countries. France, Fichy France, Free France, United Kingdom or the Italians mostly and sometimes even Germany has it. So we have to be flexible to be able to do that unless we want to be at war with everyone. Now the fascist path for Turkey is um, quite strong and potentially you can uh, involve yourself in this area here pretty much conquer all of it and border the Germans and go on from there I'm not going to do that I'm going to stay focused on what's needed for the Empire of Turan the inroad into Europe will be a feature of another Turkey video I have planned uh, to keep things varied now like I said I'll be going through the setup phase in record speed and I will not be showing you the first few focuses like I usually do. I'm just going to tell you what route I'm going to take. I'm going to start the Montreux Convention, continue the policy of etatism, six arrows, revolutionism, cadre movement, and Kamalism, and integrate fascist council. All of these uh, in one beeline. I'm going to uh, start with the basic research. But after that, I will keep my uh, industry and engineering and uh, up to date as well as my infantry techs and artillery and air force and the rest is not that important i'll get a fourth research slot relatively soon so i'll be able to keep up uh, indefinitely as for industry i'd like to start with uh, six civilian factories and i'll switch over to military factories after that i'm going to keep two gun two factories on guns delete the fighters Add one on close air support and one on artillery. Support equipment is also use useful, but um, we'll have to wait. Choices, choices. Add convoys, not going to do anything but navy. Start the Montreux Convention. As for the army, I'd like to delete it, so I have enough uh, guns at the start to do a uh, full garrison. I don't like the resistance getting any higher than I have to. Switch to local police and have the horses do it. And I'm going to create an intelligence agency which I will use to keep Hungary out of the axis by boosting on the line support here. I almost forgot, let's train a new army to replace the old one. Two rows of 12 divisions of the worst template we have. Right, let's pause a bit for the Montreux Convention. Just to show the events again. Now there's always the same response here. No settlements, no compromise. Nothing has changed and we won. This works on historical focuses and on non-historical you have to be really careful with this. With this batch of political power I always choose a silent workhorse. And pretty soon next up I'll take the financial expert. Ratify the Six Arrows is done. Now there's a lot of decisions here that you can take. I'm going to hold off from them for now, because at some point I want to spend political power on something else. Cadro movement is done and doing uh, the modern movement now. Do keep in mind that you're getting communism support now, and it's a wise thing to immediately respond to that by banning communism, like so. This is the moment to start spending some political power with revolutionism. can be helped. And I'd like to get myself an infantry expert. And it's almost all gone. 
I'm saving up for a 300 political power to get a lot of f factories with the Sonai Chilir to prepare for my inevitable invasion of Iraq I'm going to order one supply hub to be placed here I'm going to put it up here and once it builds I'm going to press the decision to build it more quickly Kavanism and the modern movement is done and integrate fascist council and we are in a race against time because Mustafa Ataturk is very ill. I want to be able to replace him, of course, with Mehmet Recep Becker. All right, the fascist council is done. I'm going to form the red shirts and get some more support. I will now replace Mr. Ataturk with um, Mr. Becker here. Retire Ataturk so he can spend the final days of his life with his family. We are now the brown ideology, as it's called. It's, uh, it's a, bad er a bit early to start justifying war goals. Do note that he is both here and both there. I could replace him, I guess, but um, I don't see why just yet. I have 10 experience. I'm going to uh, add support artillery to this um, small template. We're building the railroad uh, supply hub, so I'm going to reorganize the railway system to build it more quickly. I'm also going to build railroads in preparation for this new supply hub. That's one. And I want one here to have a direct route to my capital. Now this time you might be tempted to do more republicanism, but we're trying to save up on fascist support. Republicanism gives non-aligned support, so only click revolutionism. Making a detour for Sanai Chiler and then I'll take the other two as well to get to the extra research slot and cooperate with the Depth Council. So now Chiller is done. There are some nice factory decisions here. We're looking to do this one here for free, four factories for 300 political power. It's steep, but I do believe it's worth it, especially you know, to gather up some political power. I'm just going to try and, and pacify a few of these regions. It's actually um, working here and there. Hmm. A rare amount of successes. That's good. Uh, cooperate with Depths Council is done. I'm going to uh, get the research slot and then I'm heading back to my ideologies. And I'm going to click the decision for the for factories. And I have some stuff left here. So I'll do a round of nationalism, which I need as well. I have some more political power. I'm going to absorb the TPDA. And then I'm going to pick Camille here for extra political power and electronics research speed. The next batch of political power will go into paying off our debts. Utilize foreign capital is done. I'm going for intervene in a Spanish civil war to get the faster justification time. That's uh, going to be, be useful. The new research slot, I'll use it for better artillery. Intervene in the Spanish Civil War is done. There's a few more focuses to take here. I really like to take this one, but I'm going for Fatherland first. First, I'm going to justify on Iraq. Fatherland first is done, and I'm going for Common Destiny for all of Turkey for the reconciliation. Occupation law. However, I do believe resistance is pretty much over here. Yeah, that's right. It's a mistake. Common destiny for all of Turkey isn't needed because the fatherland first pacified the Kurds for me. Uh, this one I don't really need right now. I can get it later, perhaps. I'm going for the Office of Soil Products. Justification for Mosul is ready. I have something in an Air Force here. Let's uh, put these guys up here. There is no guarantees, so let's declare war. Even without micromanagement, this should be an easy win. Abuse the office is done. I'm going to re re reconfigure Turkish foreign, foreign policy. Pronunciation is on point today. 
And that's Iraq. Just take all states. We are done here. Let's prepare the Iran invasion. Just put a few troops on the border. One half, I'm going to train some more dudes for the other. Probably have the guns for it now. Do keep in mind that supply situation is uh, perilous. There is a water connection here between these two supply hubs. Best to uh, keep that in mind and upgrade it to a railroad. Reconfigure Turkish foreign policy is done. Now, like I explained in a beginner video, you can take a cherry pick uh, from all of these trees, whatever you like. There's some really good stuff here. I'm going to start with the Allied branch to get uh, the British guarantee. That might be useful. I'm not overly in in enthusiastic about it, but um, uh, that's all well and good. I'm going to get a Chester concession soon enough, so I'll start with improving relations with the United States. I've caused less than 6% world tension, so I'm going to justify a war goal on Iran, which will last 80 days until I have it. I'm building military factories by now, and this is what my setup looks like, two in trucks. One in fighters, two in support equipment, infantry equipment needs a little bit more, I guess. But all of these need to fill out first, and then I'll add to fighters, close air support, etc. Chester concession is complete. This one is uh, very nice Mo military factories and trucks for the stockpile. And you can choose this one here. Free civilian factories is just fine. We don't need any more. And that's Iran. Take all states. Alright, our next target will be the Soviet Union, and we won't attack for a few years. In the meantime, uh, the build-up phase will include uh, getting good supply in these regions to be able to push in here. I'll afford myself to not place supply up here because, uh, well, there's a Soviet one I can take here and I can manage with this one. But the railroads will have to be upgraded to make it happen. All of these supply hubs are not connected to any of my supply hubs. Frusi is just not reliable enough. Now, I built a perfectly good railroad here. So I'll just uh, connect all the way to Tehran and make it a level 3, put it on the top so I can get it over with. Now set the primary army to the Caucasus region. And the secondary army on the Kazakhstan border. That, that's here, right? Kazakhstan. Yeah, good enough. You can see, by the way, I never prioritize getting my stability back up, but it's it's fine in this, this day and age, so we're good here. I can get some more war support, probably, but uh, we'll, we'll click nationalism every now and then. I can get these doctrine stuff, but I can get it later. Right now I want the Soviet uh, non-aggression pact done, so I can break it later. Renew Soviet Non-Aggression Pact has finished and we'll go for this lovely focus with a lot of factories. And we have a Non-Aggression Pact with the Soviet Union. Keep in mind when we can uh, revoke the pact at some point. And there are no guarantees here, Papa Stalin. Now that I've gotten rid of etatism, there is a whole bunch of decisions here that got a lot cheaper. Completely forgot about that, but let's get more factories. Batumi Accord is done. Let's see what else is useful here. Let's get a German friendship treaty while I improve relations here. A German treaty has popped up. I'm going for the Turkish Soviet tanks now. 
What's coming up next after the Soviet tank factories is the Clodius Agreement, where you, you will get um, three levels of infrastructure and two military factories for every state that has 65 or more units of chromium. Now that's interesting because, well, we have a lot of chromium. You can expand a lot on your chromium. I am researching ex excavation to help out with that, but I could also do some more infrastructure in this region and this region here. I'll try that, see what happens, and see if I can get three of these states to hand me those factories. Starting to have a nice stockpile of trucks, so I'm going to exercise a few our divisions of trucks. Six will do. Soviet tank factories are done. I'm uh, done with the Soviet part now. I'm also pretty much done here. Might get this one later, but it's a no rush. I'll go for Clodius agreement next. I will also go to extensive conscription now. Not that I need it right away, but I want to change over all these templates um, to the bigger templates, which I'll upgrade later. All right, I have three regions producing more than 65 chromium. And I currently have 24 military factories, so we can uh, check if it's working. Don't forget at some point to research better fighters and close air support. And use the designer while you do it. Glorious agreement is done. I need all of these guys, so we'll start with the Funkplan. Funky. And I now have, show me, show me, show me, 30 military factories. That's exactly what we were hoping for. Funkplan is done. We're doing the other focuses here, of course. What is the Funkplan? It uh, gives us military construction speed and minus consumer goods. So it is now as for tactics, I'm training a main army that will have an expanded template later on to fight through the Caucasus. I'm guessing that'll involve defending until the Soviets are weakened. And I'll have another army here to hold a line and every inch they can advance is uh, a bonus. This is terrible, terrible terrain, no supply. So I don't expect to get far here. I just need to occupy Soviet troops. And I'll train one army to naval invade at Sevastopol and possibly expand from there in either direction. I have 150 political power. I'm going off free trade to limited exports. And I'll adjust my trade queue by pressing this button and doing one less. I can do it with, with small penalties. Uh, I was never producing much of this stuff anyway. And I'm importing rubber. That means I still have more than enough factories to uh, make this work. It's also high time I adjust the main infantry template. I will uh, be switching around some of these guys to uh, the main infantry template and I'll need support artillery, cavalry recon and engineers. They're not that strong, but in the horrible terrain that we're facing, these will all give terrain modifiers, and we definitely need that where we're going. At some point, I might add an extra artillery here, but right now, that's not the priority. Let's start here. My motorized division uh, pretty much needs the same motorized recon, of course, and engineers. On the fence about support artillery, I'll just add it and make these guys elite. I want the best stuff for them. Later on, I'll add more motorized. Let's start here first. The Italio Turkish Naval Academy is done, and let's join the Axis. Now, that should be uh, just fine. In fact, let's not join the Axis and just do ask to join faction. Now we can skip this focus, bypass it. To get the research slot you need, increase German military aid. And that's a good focus, so let's do that anyway. My artillery stockpile is um, reasonable, so I'll uh, edit my main template. And add it uh, an artillery units. Increase German military aid is done. 
I'm going for the research slot now. After that, um, there is a choice to be made between the Tozgulu training facility or back for a long winter. Back for a long winter, it is. I'm gathering up enough experience to uh, get our doctrines going. I will make a slight detour here and the top of the focus tree to get rid of at least the worst army debuff. And here is a nice one, get to cost reductions for land doctrine. So I have no uh, fleet to speak of, put it here anyway. There's a good chance. Learning from the Great War has um, opened up a few decisions. Of course, everything needs to be decisions. And the one I'm looking for is this one here, modernize our tactics, division organization plus 8%. It's not a bad idea to increase infrastructure here. Uh, supply also distributes according to the level of basic infrastructure, and it's quite low at the moment. So I'll prioritize this right now. Modernizing the army is done. I'll skip the rest for now and head back into this part of the tree. Go for Turkish Panzers and modernize our tactics. Keep an eye on Germany. See when they do more against the USSR. Or are justifying a war go. War with the USSR. 70 days. Let's join them. 50 days. Yeah, sure. Turkish Panzers are done. We're going with Pan Turkism. Or go for the Soviets is done. I'll just wait for the Germans to actually uh, make the first move. Quickly training a reserve army to uh, take the border of Fichy, France. I have a faint glimmer of hope that uh, once I declare a war on Vichy, they will not join the Allies or Chinese United Front, but they will join the common turn. Germany's not declaring war, and that might be a problem for me. Panturkem is, is done, let's integrate German officers into the army. Right, here we go. Do or die, brothers, do or die. There's more than enough troops here to warrant me not attacking first. Um, I did get naval supremacy here. That's a surprise, but um, a welcome one, let's put it that way. And I'll wait for war propaganda to tick up here. That's just um, free war support is nice. Uh, don't forget to reorganize the air force in ways that they can actually support you here. Well, we took Crimea, and that's a good thing. Alright, now this is the moment where we take uh, Vichy or die trying. Maybe the latter. Vichy joined the common turn, now that's what we want. The Germans are um, asking to help, so I'll probably just accept this and let the Germans uh, blast in here. It's a sad thing to see that the Germans have almost no opposition, but hopefully this will draw away some, from some troops on my border. And you can see some of them leaving. And let's get... Um, now get rid of the political power guy. And get our Panturkik Doyen here. Restoring a nation's pride is done. We'll go for Mizak Imili. Just finish off Baku, but also keep in mind that the railroads are probably not connected here. So let's prepare for that. Let's take this supply up here and connect it all the way here to Baku. It already connects to one of the railroads here. And here we are. It also wants to connect, so that this will be fine. Let's um, finish that one quickly. 
we can see that the area here is no longer red. So my motorized are very motivated at the moment, so let's take those motorized and go to town. This is a very nice pocket. This is, um, well, about 15, 20 units here at, this, at one point. So let's uh, consolidate this first and then move, move on. Mizak Emili is done and we'll go for one of these three. Kor Mosul. No, that sounds good. Also take your motorized and punch into the hole. And that's what they're meant for. See if we can re reach Rostov and uh, free up these troops here. Well, this is nice. I conquered two supply hubs, but both of them are not connected to my uh, own rail railway network. So let's fix that right away. Where is it? Where is it? Yeah. Our luck, Kurdish state decision. So, I'll, well, if I'm swimming in political power, I can still core those Kurdish states later. So for now, I will go for the Azeri. Let's kill these guys before they manage to escape. Germans are not doing too swell against the allies. I couldn't really care less about that, but I do need their help, the Axis help, in actually defeating the Soviets. Although I bet this time I'm almost confident enough I can do that by myself. I have to recap my strat at this moment because the Soviets are not nowhere near capitulation. I don't have any of the big victory points, Leningrad, Moscow and Stalingrad, and I probably need an extra army to extend my lines. Or, alternatively, I can push for Kiev and cut off this section so I have a smaller front line and then advance to Moscow. I don't have that much army left, or one, unless I go to service by requirement, I want to prevent to having to do that. Now I'll stick to plan B, I'll help out the Germans here by taking Kiev. Unite Azeri Diaspora is done, getting a few more cores and thus manpower, I think. Manpower is becoming an issue. I'll go for a Turinist Ambition now. Alright, let's um, head to Kiev. Kiev has been taken. That's a supply hub and it's even connected. Except I'm advancing too fast, so nothing's done yet. Now the key will be to link up with the Germans here and clear out this pocket. I'm certainly not unhappy on my war participation. I've outstripped the Germans now. Germany, of course, has um, distractions. Probably need better supply hubs everywhere. This one's just connected. This one is without a chance, which is why this general's just not doing anything. And building infrastructure. Can build a supply up here. A hey, what? The allies have taken free France. All right. They can do that by a border conflict. I never noticed they were doing it. More than likely, this is a problem. I'm not at war with free France, so I'm depending on these Germans to uh, take it. Ah, that sucks. I'll have to fight the Allies after all. Dutch East Indies has capitulated. It looks like Japan is on a roll as well. I have my eyes set on Moscow. <coughs> Tourist ambition is done. This is a war goal against Hungary. This is a war goal against Xinjiang, Sibelkamsama, Mongolia, Menkuko and Tanatuva. It's all down to this one until uh, the war with the Soviets is over. I have no idea what will happen with Mongolia and Tanatuva. Might want to uh, gain those war goals later. The Finland and Magyar focuses uh, can also wait until we know what's going on. So we're going all the way up back here to fix 
what needs to be fixed our air force and military because once we have taken care of the soviets we will need to take care of more worthy opponents moscow is ours meanwhile for some reason uh, i can't really see much here this is glitched out i doubt i'll get 100 percent <laughs> If anyone knows what's happening here, why I can't see the Germans in this war uh, score tab, please let me know in the comments. Right. Here's the peace deal. Now, to take what we need, we will start with this little territory here for ourselves. The strategy is um, to take the stuff you need from the shopping list, uh, I'll insert it for you later so you can uh, write it down it's in the decisions right now and I can't uh, just uh, go there and just take everything you need from the shopping list directly and those are mo except for Crimea and the Caucasus those are usually the cheap territories all the way over here don't forget to take Mongolia uh, Tanatuva is not in a peace deal but we can get a war goal later Germany will focus mostly on the coastline here uh, Belarus, Ukraine so probably you want to take that stuff first you'll want all of the Caucasus alright this is turn one I have cut off Germany from pretty much a big chunk here just need to make sure I don't need any of this stuff. The Mnipratrovsk. I don't think so. All this Ukrainian stuff you don't need. You do need Crimea. Now let's fill in the blanks here. And don't forget about Vladivostok. Pass, 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 pass. Brilliant. Occitania, in large part due to my enormous war score. Now let's have a look at the shopping list because, you know, I was showing you a screenshot earlier, but it really does not do. Uh, steam screenshot incoming Hatay and Dairo Azur are left and Tanatuva I have all the other stuff I also have shit ton of compliance in all these areas so I'm super 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 strong now and later on I'll get cores on all of this stuff we'll conquer Tanatuva first Free France is a different matter there are two things to consider here I can take out Free France. They'll get reinforced from here, so I'll need to do it quickly and decisively. Because once I have it, I'll be able to click the Turan button. If this becomes a prolonged fight, there's every chance the Allies will invade me everywhere. Where will they invade me? Well, for instance, all these lovely islands here uh, have connections and I'll need to guard them. Bulgaria is an Axis member. I will not be at war with the Axis anytime soon. The Raj borders me. I need to guard it. This Kuwait thing borders me. I need to guard it. This borders me. I need to guard it. Uh, I took stuff here. I'll need port guards against it and I'll need to prepare for war with Finland. So there's pretty much enough to do. How's the work all doing here? We can declare war on Tanatuva. Let's go, boys. Just conquer it. Alright, I'm feeling lucky. Let's take the claimed state of Aleppo. Let's declare war. Here we go. But the magic moment is here. Now, and I will delay nothing before something happens. Form Turan. And here we are. The Kaganat of Turan. The glorious Turkic formable nation. In 1943. Can be done sooner, but this is a very good run, I believe. Well, 
I'm calling the end result. I've formed the formable nation of Turan. Forming Turan is relatively easy as fascist Turkey, and I showed you most of the steps that you need to do. At some points I've gotten a little lucky, at some points unlucky. I got a tremendous war score against the Soviets, but you can easily get the same result with less. Um, leave, me in the, leave any comments you like, leave a like if you like, and uh, see you next time. Bye bye.